Reading for December 6th, entitled, Divine Compassion Continues to Flow. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is Thy faithfulness. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. I have very solemn feelings as I consider the condition the world is in. Oh, how careless! How full of crime and disobedience and sin! How sad, how terribly sad is the fact that the world does not recognize the love of God in giving Jesus Christ as our Redeemer, Jesus Christ, who was equal with God. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3, verse 16. Sin has for ages disturbed, or I might say, impeded the great work of divine benevolence by obstructing the channel through human agencies that refuse to receive the heavenly gift and therefore cannot impart the same. God is calling for men and women to become consecrated as laborers with Jesus Christ. Although sin and wickedness have disturbed for ages the flow of rich grace, yet this flow has not been cut off from earth. Its course is earthward, and if men would only cooperate with God, if the channel of communication was kept open, unrestrained, to communicate to the world, the light of heaven would be shining in all parts of the world, scattering the moral darkness. I am satisfied that we must work in earnest. The ministers are not the only ones who are to shine, but workers are to be raised up in all the churches, and as these who receive the truth shall maintain humility and contrition, they are the very ones God will use to bless their fellow men by doing whatever they can in their supposed humble capacity. It is not the most learned, not the most eloquent of the human family through whom the Lord will reveal Himself. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 15. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. Chapter 66, verse 2. The Lord calls for us to render back to him the endowments he has given to men, whereby they can use all their powers of intellect and all their strength, physically and morally in his service, to do good and bless others. A crisis has arrived in the government of God on earth. Divine compassion has been flowing to the people, notwithstanding that the heavenly current has been beaten back by stubborn hearts. Taken from Letter 52, dated December 6, 1895, to a minister in Australia.